name is Blair Barnett and I'm the chair of the British Film Designers Guild. And I'm here at this wonderful award ceremony just to make sure that everybody gets the appreciation for all their work. Uh, we're bringing in a sustainability award, the Planet Positive Award, where we're showcasing new people that are up and coming, uh, spotlighting new talent, the Peter Lamont Award for that. I just, I'm loving all of our new sponsors. I'm just, this year is just fantastic. I feel like we've just really blown up. My name's Luke Hull, I'm the designer on uh, Andor, season one, and that's why we're here, because we're nominated for that. I'm Toby Brisson, Supervising Art Director. Um, I'm Neil Lamont, I'm a production designer, and I'm lucky enough to be here tonight uh, as we've been nominated for Fantastic Beasts. Uh, I'm Jonathan Green, I'm the production designer on Atlanta season three, and I've been nominated for the TV Light Entertainment Award. I'm a production designer in the film industry and television industry. My name is Sonia Klaus. I was the chair of the British Film Designers Guild for two years, and I've handed over the reins to Blair Barnett. My name's Mark Farley. I'm one of the sponsors of this champagne reception, and that's partly why I'm here. For all the champagne, of champagne. course. <laughs> Actually, I'm designated driver tonight, so. It's no good. I've got the short straw. I'm Helen Johnson. I run a company called Talking Point, who provide training for the art department. I'm production designer Beth Mickle, and I'm here for the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. It's Dave Scott, I'm the art director. My name is Olavo, I'm one of the finalists for Best Production Design Award in a short film. My name's Chinita. I'm Oli. And we're here because Mom vs. B is up for an award. I am Roxy Erickson, I'm co-founder of Creative Zero. We are sponsors of tonight's event. We're really proud to be here, um, and we are looking at the sustainability side of the event. I'm here with the Essex Serpent, which is an Apple TV show. Um, we've been nominated for the Planet Positive Award. I'm Katie Missouri. I'm one of the nominees for the Spotlight New Talent Award. It's for someone who's starting out in the film industry. <laughs> what does it mean for you to be here tonight and uh, part of the Guild? It's a great opportunity to meet industry people. Yeah, no, it's really nice. I haven't, to be honest, we were working all day, so I just kind of blasted in. It's, it's just fantastic to be able to support the Guilds and everything that they do to support the art department and the industry. So we're really pleased to be here. The crew don't get to have a chance to be celebrated, so to all be able to come together tonight is fantastic. That's what we're doing here tonight. We're celebrating people's work and particularly the arts department, which are often the unsung heroes of the film industry. And I think it's very important that we recognize what they do. Are you excited, nervous about tonight? How are you feeling? I don't think we have a chance in hell. I wish everybody uh, well, and I'm sure Batman's going to win. Oh, why'd you say that? Because you're up against Batman. Up against Batman, yeah, it's a toughie. Yeah, it's a tough, tough competition. There's been some really amazing shows this year, so who knows? We're really scared about our competition, Mrs. <laughs> oh my god, jitters, jitters, jitters. It's the first time I've been in the BFTG Gala. Very much looking forward to it. I am really excited, yeah. I haven't been to this uh, show before. So what was your favourite part about that production that you saw come to life from your vision? I think it would probably be, for us, it was two things. The, the Bowie spaceship, which is the biggest spaceship Marvel has ever had in a movie. And then also we built a massive city called Nowhere. It was so exciting to be part of it and see those characters there interacting with each other. It's just fantastic. I, it was so such a fantastic job because we shot it during COVID lockdown, but we were still able to travel to Paris and Amsterdam. The scripts are amazing and I got a lot of creative freedom and the, those kind of jobs don't come around too often. And Donald Glover was really fantastic to work with, very collaborative, as was Hiro Mirai, the director. Well, I mean, it was your spin on the Star Wars universe. But working with uh, Tony Gilroy and being able to do something different with that franchise was very freeing. So it was working with Stuart Craig, who was the production designer on all the Harry Potters, and I was actually his supervising art director. So actually to have worked side by side with him, for me, was sort of like the final part of my apprenticeship and has been absolutely amazing and was extremely incredible. Good evening and welcome once again to the 12th British Film Designers Guild Production Design Awards, supported by Ben. I'm Anna Smith, and with me is my fabulous co-host, Ali Plum. In case you don't know who the hell I am, um, I'm the host of the Girls on Film podcast. You might also know me for some Radio 4 work at the BBC News Film Review on TV. If you happen to not know who I am, how dare you? But um, <laughs> that's fine. I'd like to say your kids might know who I am. Uh, I'm BBC Radio 1's film critic, it's a real job, and I'm also known as Greg James's sidekick. Right, well that's enough about us, I think. Thank you, Ali. It now gives me great pleasure to welcome to the stage chairperson of the British Film Designers Guild, Blair Barnett. It gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of the Peter Lamont Award for Spotlighting New Talent. The award goes to Katie Maserak.
thank you BFTG for this award too, so thank you. Now I'd like to welcome Chloe Fitzgerald and Frank Stapleton from this category sponsor, Helix Set Construction. So without any further ado, the award for the best production design for a commercial goes to... Dan Berridge. B&Q Flip. <laughs> and Kate McConnell. I don't know what to say. I'd just like to thank Kate and Philip and yeah, thank you. Sir. Congratulations to all the nominees and I'd like to announce that the winner for Best Production Design Short Film goes to Fireworks, Jamie Lapsley, Production Designer and Felix Cole, Art Director. Um, thanks. It's kind of intense being up here, visible and trans, so it's been the room set to her and I'm glad that I can be a positive message for once. Thank you. So, when we heard this award announced last year, we uh, want to be involved in making it a success. As a company, sustainability is in our DNA. Well, I'm absolutely delighted to announce the winner is the Essex Serpent. I'd obviously like to say a massive thank you to our art department, who are amazing. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm delighted to be here. And it gives me great pleasure. Uh, the award for best production design, light entertainment programme goes to Man vs. B. It's really lovely to win something. <laughs> we had a great time on this job. Thank you so much. This is brilliant. So the winner for the best production design for independent TV drama, including miniseries or TV movie or limited series, goes to Killing Eve season four. Lucien Seren, production designer, Philip Barber, supervising art director, and Mike Britton, set director. Bloody hell, thanks. <laughs> it was hard work. It was good fun and it was really worth it, thank you. <laughs> so, the winner of the international TV drama, including mini-series, TV movie or limited series, goes to Wednesday. Production designer, Mark Scritton, supervising art director, Adrian Corelli, and set director, Rob Burden, and set director, David Morrison. Amazing, and amazing to wear in such an amazing field. Everyone was so strong this year, it was extraordinary. Thank you very much. The winner is... Serrano! Thank you very much. Thank you. The award for the best production film design, independent feature film, contemporary, goes to All the Old Knives. Marcus Rowland, Grant Bailey and Jude Star. Thank you everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. I'd like to announce a winner of the Best Production Design International Studio Feature Film period goes to Empire of Light. Mark Tilsley, Adam O'Neill, Cam Landman and Veronique Mellory. Thank you very much. Um, thank you to the Guild. Thank you to the members who voted for the film. For the award for the Best Production Design International Studio Feature, contemporary goes to 13 Lies. Molly Hughes, Brant Gordon, and Emma Watkins. Thank you all for voting for our very wet, very rainy, and very muddy film. The award for Best Production Design International Studio Feature Film Fantasy goes to Batman. It's James Chinland, production designer, Grant Armstrong, supervising art director, Lee Sandales, set decorator. What a powerful honor to be standing in front of you with this motley crew. So proud of the movie we made and thank you so much for this honor. So I'm delighted to invite our winners, Laura Mail and Nick Pelham to collect their awards. Thank you so much to the Guild for this incredible award. Thank you very much. The winner of this year's Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Judy Ducker. I'd like to thank the Guild for this amazing award. Thank you. Sorry, Ali, it is time to conclude the 12th Annual BFTG Production Design Awards. It's now time for us to both say this magic word. Good night. Good night. Thank you.